So open intercept form, we've been talking about this before. Um, y equals mx plus b, that is our slope intercept form. Okay, m is our slope, b is our y intercept. Remember, y intercept is where it crosses the y axis. Okay, so again, m is our slope, b is our y intercept. Those are the two things we want to pick out from this form. Okay, so a couple examples here. Find the slope and the y intercept of the graph of each equation here. Now, this first one's already in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So we can go ahead and remember we said m was our slope and b was our y intercept. So when it's in this form, it's very simple. We're going to pick out the 3, which is the number right before the x, the coefficient. So that's our slope. So our slope is 3. And our y intercept now, it's a minus 4. Okay, remember in the equation, it's addition. So if, our, if we have a ne negative 4, a minus 4 there, we have to remember to keep that negative. So our y-intercept is actually a negative 4. All right, let's look at the second one here. It's not quite in slope-intercept form, okay, but there's something we need to add in. We can rewrite this as 0 times x, which is just 0, plus 6.5. Okay, now it's in slope-intercept form. It looks like down in the bottom there. So our slope here is going to be 0 because that's in our spot for m, and our y-intercept is going to be, it's a positive now, so a positive 6.5. All right, and the last one here, we need to rearrange things to get it in slope-intercept form. So let's first, let's move this 5x over. Let's add it to both sides. So we're left with a negative y equals 5x minus 2. Okay, now it's a negative y. That needs to be a positive, five to, or positive y to match that form. If there's no number in front of the y, like we can assume there's a 1. So if we divide by a negative 1, make sure we divide the whole right side by a negative 1. We're going to get y equals a negative 5x. Now a negative 2 divided by a negative 1 is a positive, so plus 2. Okay, and then our last step, again, slope. It's in slope-intercept form, so we can pick them right out. Our slope is going to be a negative 5. Our y-intercept is going to be a positive 2. Okay, so there are our answers there. We first need to put it in slope-intercept form, then we can pick them out.